Today I fucked up by deleting all my boyfriend's game data. So my boyfriend has been super pumped about Ghost of Tsushima, which came in the mail yesterday while he was at work. He calls me and asks me to download it so he can play when he gets home. I'm not tech impaired, however I do not game and only ever use the PlayStation for Netflix. So I'm on the phone with him as he's walking me through how to download the new game. I say I got it. Get to settings and go to data, because that was what I was logically thinking in order to remove GB to make room for more GB. He told me to delete Last of Us, which he just painstakingly finished. I select the three Last of Us app looking things that come up, and press delete. I go back to download GOT, and it still says there's no room. I repeat my previous steps and delete another game. I do this two more times with two more games. After noodling around settings trying to figure out why I'm not getting more storage after deleting games, I click on apps instead of data. There is a list of all his games, even the ones I thought I deleted. So I select and delete one this time, and voila, got starts downloading. I call my boyfriend, tell him I had a problem with making deleting his data at first but he's good to go now. His voice immediately tells me he's died a little inside when he asked if I deleted the game or the data. And after I said both, he sweetly said in a weak voice okay babe thanks. And then I knew I did something bad. Too long didn't read, I mistakenly deleted PS4 game data instead of downloaded game to make storage room for new game. Boyfriend died a little inside. Edit, I am currently feeding him chips by hand while he plays Ghost of Tsushima ha 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 thank you everyone for the comments this has made my fucking year. 357 karma to 15000 plus, he will never forget how Seola girlfriend I am, nor will I forget how many people DM'd me die whore. Reddit, I love you. It's every gamer's rite of passage to lose their save data. It hurts so much. My house got robbed years ago and I lost my GTA San Andreas 100% complete save. Mistakes happen. At least you didn't erase his Pokemon save file. Still haven't forgiven my cousin for that one. It, from the responses, I can see that the same or a similar fate happened to many others. I suffer with you, my brothers and sisters. May it never happen again. XGF did this to me with a collection of vintage cashmere cardigan sweaters. I'd always been a fan of them and had some really awesome and colorful ones from over the years. One day, she was cleaning around the house and thought she would surprise Mimi by washing them. She said I washed all your sweaters, some were a little dirty I sweetly asked did you dry them too? Yup. I then picked out my three favorites and told her she could have them to her glee and explained that I just didn't think I wanted to wear them anymore and they would look much better on her. A couple weeks later she was remarking that they were so comfortable and fit way better than they used to. All I said was yeah, their cashmere at this point I saw intense math going on in her head and she realized her mistake. Did this didn't I? When you asked if I dried them you realized I had ruined them making them too small for you. I just nodded in agreement. What's done was done. Didn't feel like being angry at her for something she was proud of. However she now checks the labels on everything she washes. That was kinda sweet of you though. I imagined how bad my wife would feel if she did this and now I feel bad. Seems like there's still hope. Today I fucked up from removing my menstrual cup in front of my boyfriend. For those of you who don't know, a menstrual cup is a soft and flexible medical grade silicone cup that you can leave in for up to 12 hours to collect the period blood and pour out. As you can imagine, a full cup has a fair amount of blood. This is important for later. This morning at 5 am, I felt the need to go to the toilet. I noticed that a little blood had spilled out so I knew it was over time to empty my cup. This usually doesn't happen to me, but I guess overnight I had more blood than usual. Roggy at 5 am with the lights off, I take take my cup out and dump it into the toilet. It was messy, and I finally discovered that I had an accident with how much blood came out. I chucked my cup in the sink next to me ready to clean everything up, 
but at this moment, my boyfriend peeks into the bathroom to see if I'm okay and what I'm doing awake. From his perspective, he just sees blood all over my hands and in the sink. The lights were off and he just can see me from the flash on my phone. It looked like a horror scene. He freaked out and fainted at the door. Me, being concerned without thought, jumped up to aid my boyfriend who had just collapsed on the floor without a second thought. I then instantly realized I had blood all over my hands, and now all over him and the floor. He wakes up a moment later, freaking out not knowing why there is blood everywhere. I explained it to him and was left with a shocked boyfriend and a literal bloody mess I had to clean up at 5 a.m. Too long didn't read, I emptied my period cup in the dark at 5 a.m. and my boyfriend thought the blood on my hands was from some horror injury and fainted. Oh wow, menstrual cups are a trip. This reminds me of a similar story that happened to me a few years ago. I was on the first, and heaviest, day of my period, and went out for a few drinks that night. A few drinks turned into a few more, and my partner and I came back pretty drunk. Both passed out in bed, and I forgot to empty my cup. I realized my horrific mistake the next morning, when I woke up to a literal pool of blood cupped between my legs. Tossing and turning during the night, there was a fair bit on my partner's legs too. I got up to go clean up, but the cup had overflowed so much that the blood flowed down my leg, leaving literal bloody footprints leading into the bathroom. I guess in the bathroom I made too many noises of frustration as I cleaned up the blood bath, as my partner was roused, looked down at the bloody sheets and his bloody self, saw literal horror movie footprints leading out of my bedroom, and me groaning in the bathroom. He runs out to see what happens, slips on a foot print, slides into the door frame, and sees me washing blood from my hands, still with streaks of blood down my legs. Menstrual cups are wonderful. Better protection, more environmentally thoughtful. But damn, remember to empty them out when you get home from a night on the beer. Uma was a fellow menstrual cup user, I totally get what happened. If you accidentally spill slash remove the cup the wrong way, the whole area will look like a crime scene ha ha. That's why I always take mine out in the shower. Is it weird if I laughed at this story? I love a good heart attack at 5 in the morning. You know I don't think guys get how some of us deal with much heavier bleeding and I feel like a crime scene cleanup crew sometimes. But this was a pretty funny today I fucked up. Menstruation isn't talked about at all in public and since guys don't have to deal with it they forget about it. I've lived years without thinking about periods before having two female friends who talk about it. This is brilliant. First time my husband saw a really bad period with me he flipped out. He was horrified at how much blood actually comes out and he just stood there shocked and asked if I needed to lay down or something. I was so chill and he couldn't understand why I wasn't panicking. I have very heavy periods and the fiancé is both curious and scared to see what the toilet looks like after I've cleaned up lol his sex ed in high school was apparently pretty useless so I've had to explain a lot about the female body to him unfortunately. But once I correct him or give him insight he always comes to me the next day saying he researched more about it and talks about how interesting it is and how surprised he is that he never learned it. It's both both cute and kinda sad, sad because of the education system, not him being unaware of what he doesn't know. Today I fucked up by not telling my husband and his parents that I knew their native language and then speaking in the said language in front of them. I actually posted this on Am I the Arsehole few days back. Some people suggested I post this here as well, so here goes. This story has four characters, my husband, 28 meters, me 27 f, mother-in-law and father-in-law. Even though husband and I are Indians, we're from different states. He's from North India and I'm from West India. Mill thinks I don't know their native language. Thing is, I do understand it. I've picked up a lot of words and phrases from hearing my husband speak and and from songs etc. I understand enough to comprehend. We could be at dinner at my in-law's house and the conversation would go like this. Mill, switch Switches to her native tongue and makes some remark about me. Dot. Husband, defends me in native tongue. Asks her to stop. This used to be very funny to me because these people thought I did not know what they were saying about me and I found his mother's remarks very Indian motherish. Nothing offensive really. For example, she'd say to my face that the food I cooked is tasty but then switch to her native language and go. 
there's so much salt in it. Is your wife trying to give me a blood pressure problem? Sometimes it was hard to keep a straight face. A few days back, we were FaceTiming with my in-laws and my mill says something in the native tongue. This is where the fuck up happens. I wasn't paying attention and I thought she spoke to me so I replied in the same language. Now, I didn't even know if I could speak it since I'd never really tried. I thought it was more of I understand but I can't speak it. The surprised Pikachu meme was real. It would be the expressions of my husband and his parents. I don't think I'll ever forget how their faces looked. I wish I could have taken a pic. Mill has been sugary sweet to me. She's been sending all these good mornings and hope you well texts to me. I hate this new Mill. I prefer her subtle way of being fake than her obvious way of being fake. Feel like I lost a superpower. I won't get to hear Mill's running commentary about me. Those were entertaining AF. I looked forward to family dinners just for her taunts which she thought I couldn't understand. I really fucked up bad by slipping up. Too long did didn't read, didn't tell my husband that I could understand his language, had fun while Mill taunted me in the said language, lost this superpower now. Learn the third language with your husband that your in-laws don't understand and start using it at dinner. My family is Indian and multilingual AF. Everyone understands each other's languages and English, so you couldn't have a secret conversation. My mom actually learned Japanese and taught it to my dad so they could talk shit about everyone in front of them. Take comfort in the fact you shocked the shit out of her. RIP superpower. What did your husband say after the call? How's he acting now? Tell her you appreciated her honesty, and have never been offended by her comments. Tell her you miss the real her, and wish she would beat you up again in her native tongue. Tell her it keeps you on your toes. LOL. With Asian in-laws, that's a very double-edged sword bro. Haha <laughs> this is great. It reminds me of a similar situation at work years ago. My family's cultural background is from the Caucasus mountain area in Russia but due to politics, war they all migrated to Middle East. My parents learned to speak Arabic due to migrating and they taught us kids Arabic. I'm very white and don't look Arab slash Middle Eastern whatsoever. One day at work, this Arabic speaking couple came in to make a purchase and the wife was making comments in Arabic telling the husband I wasn't adding things up correctly and I kept ignoring it. Finally, I got annoyed and I responded to her in Arabic along the lines of I'm writing it down on paper and using a calculator to make sure I'm adding it correctly or something like that and her jaw dropped. Of course she suddenly was the nicest lady ever and complained about how her own kids can't speak Arabic ha ha ha.